Welcome back today to my music channel. So today we are looking at the cymbals, if you haven't already guessed. Um, cymbals are a percussion instrument and there's quite a bit to say about them too. So we're going to learn a little bit about the cymbals today and you're even going to get a chance to make your own, which is really fun. All right, so what is a cymbal? Well, as you can see, a cymbal is a thin, round, plate-like instrument. And they're usually, if not all the time, in a set of two. I'll tell you when they're not because there are cases where you can have a cymbal with just one. Cymbals are neat because they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Um, this is the biggest pair that I own in the music room here. Um, but I've got other, they, they come bigger than this, but I've got other sizes as well. Um, the next size up would be these. Um, my next size up after that. And finally, my wee little cymbals. So you can see they come in lots of different shapes and sizes, which is quite unique. They all have a different sound, so no two cymbals would sound the same. All right, um, most cymbals have um, no pitch. That's not completely true all the time, but generally most cymbals don't have a pitch. What does that mean? I can't go over to the piano and play a note and then expect to hear a tone to my cymbals, with of course the exception of these little ones. That is a pitch, there's a note there. But generally, when you, when you have two cymbals crushed together, like, the, there's, there's no pitch there. It's just really fun to do. Um, where can you find cymbals where there's only one? Oh, a drum kit, you'd see those before. Um, the drum kits have a couple of different cymbals that would use just one cymbal. Uh, there's the crash cymbal, so it kind of sits, sits kind of like this, and then the drummer would get their stick and go, and make a little crash down. Um, there is uh, a ride cymbal, uh, which sits kind of like that, and then they tee, tee, tee. And then finally, you've got a hi-hat. Now, a hi-hat would have two cymbals um, attached to it. However, um, when they're closed, they use a foot pedal and they close it. So, that's actually a place where you can find a whole bunch of different, different cymbals. All right, so if you're a cymbal player, you are called a cymbalist. Pretty cool, hey? That's a neat name. Um, all right, so a little bit about the cymbals. They, believe it or not, existed in ancient times. Do we know when or can we date that back to a specific time? Well, no, but what we can do is look at things that were relevant in that time period. So for example, if you were to look at paintings, uh, from ancient Egypt, um, ancient Greece, and ancient Rome, and there are other places too, you would actually see um, paintings where they're in there. Um, so throughout history, you can see that they were there, and they have been documented to be there. In fact, um, I have one symbol here that is, I believe, from ancient Egypt, and you can actually see, like, it was a symbol, and it looked something like this. So, that is one of our oldest documented symbol from ancient, I believe it was Egypt. Um, once again, I can't tell you a specific date because I don't know. But it's really cool to think that even back then, these things existed and now here we are in modern day and here they are. Um, where can you see them other than a drum kit? You can see them all over the place. Um, you can see them in orchestras, so symphony orchestras use them in their percussion section uh, quite a bit. Uh, you can find them in percussion ensembles, which is like a whole band of just percussion players. You can find them in jazz bands, heavy metal bands, and uh, marching groups. So if you're in a marching band that you might see at a parade, you'd probably see a pair of cymbals there too, which is really cool. So you can see that cymbals are very old and they're still around today for us to enjoy, which isn't that neat. All right, so now how can you make one of your own? Well. Of course, ideally, you want to make the biggest symbols that you can and crash them together. And for that, if you have two garbage can lids, those metal garbage can lids, you'll be golden. They are not always easy to find, nor are they cheap, and they're very loud, so your parents may not want you to find those. But you can still make a teeny tiny mini version with simple household items. Um, what I have here are jar lids from baby food. So what you do is you just get your baby food jar lids and just, or you could turn them around. 
What you could also do is you could add buttons or something, so that might try for a different sound. They don't have to be baby jar lids. You can also try um, metal plates, so those just those brass plates that you get, and try that. Um, you could also try jam lids for jam jars. Anything that's metal, that's the key here. It needs to be metal. If you do cardboard, it really won't do much, but if it's metal, you'll get some effect with it. So try it. Try different sizes and different shapes of lids or trash cans or whatever it is that you find and see what sounds you get. And of course, share with your friends because, I mean, music is awesome and if you create something, you wanna share it. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the symbols. And I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone, stay safe, bye.